So today we're gonna do some more Rhino Natha taming and um, I'm basically gonna try and test out and see if a trap can actually work to reuse them. So what I wanna do is I wanna find a high level and by the way, the 174 that we found that I, I got this one from has just completely disappeared. I actually do wanna test out a low level as well just to see if there's any sort of difference whatsoever about uh, using a high level versus a low level. Regardless though, it does need to be female so it might take me a little while to actually find another one. So right here, I've got just a little trap. It's probably overkill, but I figured I should make it big enough to actually have this creature, uh, allow this creature to actually move around a little bit within the trap. So uh, yeah, we've just got five behemoth gates right here. And then I've obviously got the actual gate at the end there. And I'll probably just place this one as soon as we get the Rhino into there. And then we'll do the whole process. But I got to go over some other stuff before we do all of that. And uh, right here, I got to show you. Hang on one sec. We got some in here. Uh, we figured out how to get resin. It's pretty straightforward and I should have realized it but I was pretty tired when I was recording the last episode uh sap inside the inventory that's how you do it and uh yeah let's go ahead and just chuck a bunch of it straight into you actually you know what I'm gonna take a little bit of that back just so we have some more going over here and um yeah it pretty much just generates slowly over time um nothing else really has to go into it like it just kind of does it by itself it doesn't have to have a saddle it doesn't have to be ridden or anything that's just kind of how it works so a couple things I actually didn't test out in the last episode were all the attacks using the uh, the resin, but um, also the pickup ability, which is broken. I've seen images of like structures and places they shouldn't be in. So uh, the, the arc devs messed up real big with this one. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm I'm not going to be doing any of that right now. But yeah, you can pretty much just like pick up structures and then replace them. It's a little bit tricky with something that requires foundation support. Hang on, let's see. Uh, we got to just click left click to go into build mode and then boom I have to place it directly there But you can also pick up modest structures as well because this is an s plus uh, <laughs> It's like right in my face. It's an s plus transmitter So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just place that down wherever I want right there works cool All right, so, um, yeah, let's go out and just test out some of these abilities So in the bottom left we have the resin attacks. Um, so right now we're on the needle mode Let's actually test this out a little bit on the titanosaur. So to simply just attack, you just have to hold down right click and it kind of just continuously does this one. So the needle does 75 damage per hit, which is relatively good to be honest, considering how fast it actually shoots. I mean, I, I don't know if you can get headshots with it though, actually. I, I should probably try and see if we can test that out. I don't see anything around here that we can get a headshot on besides the snake. Let's try and do this. Uh, it might be kind of difficult for me to manage to hit that. Uh, let's see, right around. Here, maybe? It's not hitting at all for some reason. Okay, yeah, that was totally going to be a headshot, but it didn't seem to count, so maybe it's not possible. Hello. Oh, I pissed off the big boy. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, we've got some more attacks to switch between them. You hold down control and then just right-click, and now, right now, we're on the rocket mode, which I'll test out after. Let's test out the bomb mode, which uh, takes the most of this resin, so let's go ahead and just shoot one of these. Boom! And a big sticky glob just goes onto the ground and then if the creature stands in it if it like stays within it it essentially just kind of uh covers it in the resin and then eventually it will trap it you can see those little bar the little bar kind of just filling up there and the creature of course is just turning to resin so yeah kind of op for a slow moving creature a big guy like this and i guarantee you could use this to your advantage to actually maybe try to just like easily tame up like a titanosaur or something Anything that requires like annoying kind of like rockets or, or cannonballs in a specific spot like a rock elemental and stuff like that, you could probably use this for that. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to fully resin up, but let's see if we can kind of pop a couple in front of it here, get its cankles. Oh, wow, that hurt me a lot. Okay, I should probably not take another one of those hits, uh, but you can see right there, it's, uh, it's completely resined right now. And when it goes to red, that means that it's decreasing. So at this point, you don't really do any extra damage or anything, I don't think. So it's just kind of completely stuck. But as you can see, its head's not moving at all. So you definitely could use this to, uh, to just... Oh, wait, it is actually kind of moving now. Okay, never mind. It wasn't moving a second ago. <laughs> I mean, you could probably still kind of use it. You can get like a mech down here and just shoot cannons at the... Uh, at the titanosaur's head to potentially try to knock it out easily. I don't know. The worst part about taming something like that is the fact that it moves all around all over the place and then you damage it. So um, could be really handy for that. And other creatures as well, obviously, because, you know, the sticky globs works on literally every single other creature and it will be a lot quicker when it comes to smaller creatures as well. Let me just drop a couple of them down here and um, boom, right there. Don't think I hit anything with any of those. I think we got to get a little bit closer so I can be more accurate. Boom right there so as you can see it's filling up really quick 
when he's standing in it, but now he's not anymore. Hang on, let's see if we can get him to stand in it again. Boom, right on him there, and yeah, it's kind of filling up relatively quick. I mean, not super, super quick, but you can kind of just like let them beat up on you as they just fill up on that. And then eventually, if it doesn't disappear, you will get them fully trapped just like that. Now, I wonder, can you pick them up in this mode? Oh, you can. Oh, but they can attack now. Okay, interesting. Good to know, good to know. So they probably can't attack when they're in this mode though, can they? Okay, so they can, interesting. Just still kind of testing things, because like I said, you know, this is a new creature. Just kind of figuring things out. Uh, so the last attack is the rocket, and it's like a homing rocket. This thing is crazy. Look at this. And we just gotta wait for it to lock, and then we just shoot it, and then the rocket just homes in and sometimes misses. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Come on, bro, what the hell? All right, come on. There we go. We hit that time. Sweet. So it could be really useful to uh, knock down like a fast flyer, like a like I don't know, anything really. I'm trying to think like a tropio, I guess. If you wanted to try and actually trap it, you could probably do that. Um, I guess a Quetzal's not really super fast, so you probably don't even need to do something like that. You might be able to just drop a little bomb on top of it and get it to just fall down to the ground. If I see a Quetzal, we'll test it out. But um, yeah. Honestly, I think the best thing about that is probably going to be for PvP to just deal damage to enemies as they're like flying away from you. But just in general, like I gotta say, out of all the attacks, I think that this one's probably the best because like you can still fly really, really fast as you use it. It's just a little bit less accurate and kind of harder for me to hit specifically. But it also deals extra damage to flyers as well. You can see it's not dealing the uh, the 75. It's dealing a little bit extra, which is normal. And you can get headshots confirmed. Nice. So there you go. That's a couple of the resin abilities. Another thing that you could do with them, which is just silly, is you can actually just land on surfaces whenever you see the green crosshair, which we had a second ago. There we go. Uh, oh, now I'm out of stamina. Never mind. One sec. So yeah, when you see the green crosshair, just press space and you're going to land onto surfaces just like this. Looks a little bit goofy considering how big it is, but yeah, kind of just exactly like a tape jar in that respect. Uh, a couple other things that people mentioned that they could do is, uh, number one, they, of course, are immune to stuns by jellyfish, which is silly. Um, but also, you know, we, we already know they can swim and go on top of the water, and they can probably swim in lava, let's be honest. These things could do a lot of stuff. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go out. Let's see if we can manage to find a couple. Uh, I, I need a low-level female, and then I'm gonna try and go for a high-level female. I just want to see if there's much of a difference. So, a good amount of testing in this video, but, um, yeah, let me see what we can find. So I did mention a lot of this in the last episode, but I figure I should just mention it again just in case you haven't watched that one. Uh, but if you're looking for one of these guys, you want to check out the island and Lost Island. And um, yeah, you want to check out the swamps as well. I've had a lot of luck here on the island, not so much on the Lost Island. There we go. That's a male, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and kill it. By the way, like really good damage, even though this one's not a good level. like It's crazy damage like that. Actually kind of insane. And the weight and everything is really good. I really like these guys. We got a level 90 and a 114. I'm going to use the level 90 just because it's a lower level. I just want to see if we can get anything half decent out of a low level one. So yeah, let me kill this one real quick. All right, so I'm just going to lead it all the way into this trap. So we need to lead it far out in this direction and then loop around. Let's see. Come on, bro. You coming? Oh yeah, you are. All right, this will allow us to be able to test and see if they're also uh, reusable. Because, of course, you know, the fact that they, they just fly off. So, I mean, I would imagine that they are. Let's see. I, I need to actually net this guy. Eh. Oh, what? Did that not reload? What the hell? I don't seem to be able to shoot it for some reason. What is happening? There we go. All right. Well, we've got our trap closed. Uh, now let's go ahead and actually just... Well, first of all, we got to get this thing down to low health. But we also got to get a creature to use as the sacrifice. Any creature will do. I'm just using Karchus because I already prepared some Karchus for this. I don't need them. Um, oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's just hit it with the sword instead. Should be super, super low health. Oh, he's on 20 health. Wow, or she, whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and pop that in. Boom. We got that going. Got to wait for this thing to escape its trap, and then we'll see if it can actually, first of all, even impregnate me when I'm inside of here with it. But then also, uh, we need to see if it will stay here. So we gotta wait for that special attack. It might be kind of hard to see things because, like, the gates and everything. Um, gotta. Oh, did it just. Oh, it just impregnated me. Nice. And now it's trying to get away, but it can't because we have it trapped. So there you go. We're, we're gonna see if it's reusable. It might not be. It might be a case where it's. Uh, oh, no. 
Oh, crap. Okay, did I get through? I didn't. That's fine. I wasn't actually trying to open up the gate. I was trying to hop off the saddle because I want to actually uh, probably net it just in case. Although we might be okay. Let's see. Let's... Ooh, no. Okay, I thought it was going to move. We're okay. All right, let me get my guy on follow. Just want to get him out of the trap. Bro, can you get out, please? Come on, get out. There we go. Nice. And we still have it trapped. And something is attacking over here. That's cool. Go ahead and just do this. Get out of here. Go. Uh, I don't have time to deal with that. Okay, hang on. <laughs> that thing's still there. So we've got the cravings coming. Let's see. Let me just get my guy to come over to me. Is that raptor still bothering you? Really, bro? Like, go away. All right, so we have a craving coming up now in just a second. It could be pretty much any item in the game from what it seems. What do we need? Uh, Quetzal Egg. Why, bro? Come on. I don't even think that would actually count as a, uh, a fertilized one as well. I don't think so. I, I mean, we're going to have to test and see, but yeah, that is, uh, that's really weird. Bro, like, what the hell? That's so stupid. So yeah, um, essentially, if you want to get a good level, you need to feed its cravings, and then eventually it's going to get to the point where you can actually just force the birth as well. So um, yeah, I can't show you because we, we got a Quetzal egg. I don't have a Quetzal egg. Unfortunately, we're doing this on the island, which is not a map that I've actually lived on for a long time. Like, I do have this really big house and everything, but a lot of my items are not over here. I have some resources, but I wouldn't have eggs and stuff like that. So I think for now, I want to actually just test out and see what would happen if I cryopod it. Let me see. I might be able to make one real quick. All right. So just for science, it might get the baby to leave, but let's go ahead and put you into a cryopod. Just see if this works. I'm using this over the soul balls just for vanilla people. Let's see. Okay. Will you still have the baby? Probably not, right? Yeah. Does not have the baby. Actually, you know what? It says that in the dossier, doesn't it? It does say that uh, that's a way to basically get rid of the, the baby if you want to. So there we go. Um, now, I guess our, our next thing is let's just try and get pregnant again. Uh, let's go ahead and just net you. And then I need to get in here again. And I'm actually just going to make sure that this thing's on manual because I hate the automatic mode on the gates. All right. It should break out in just a sec here. So I put on the pheromone. It's kind of blinding. You can't really see anything else. But yeah. Oh, no. There we go. It just did it. Wow. So they are reusable. Now, there might be a cooldown between. Who knows? But... They are 100% reusable. That's the exact same one twice. So let's go ahead and just net you so I can get out of here. Uh, let's just open that up and walk you out. And maybe we'll get better luck on this one. So I would say if you find a high level, trap it just like this. It's kind of overkill with the trap, but you want a big enough trap that is, you know, like you're going to be able to actually see it and move around in it. Um, but also, you know, it's going to have space to like fly a little bit because it might need to be able to uh, fly around your creature to actually do that stinger attack. So, you know, maybe this is not the most efficient way, but it's definitely a lot simpler than a bunch of pillars and ceilings and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, there we go. We, we have it. Let's see if we can actually manage to pull one of these off uh, without actually, um, you know, coming into contact with something that I don't have. Honestly, I think at this point, if I can find a high level, then I could probably do it. I could just sit here. It would probably take me hours to do it, but I could probably continuously go until I get one that comes out flawlessly. I guarantee we could do that eventually. I don't know how many times it would take, but I'm going to try if we can find a high level. And we have a craving superior kibble. I do have that. Nice. Another craving coming up here. Freya curry. Okay. Extraordinary. Okay. Next one, black pearls. I might have that. Yes, I do. I just need one. Thank you very much. Boom. All right, here we go. Uh, okay, shadow snake saute. Nice. Uh, that's it. So now, as you can see, it doesn't say anything about cravings. Uh, that means that we've done all of the possible foods. So we got a really good roll right there, which is great. Now, one thing that I don't see is the forced birth thing. Maybe that comes after the timer would get to the point where the next craving would happen. Because I saw that on single player. Like, it definitely came up and it said forced birth. I don't know if that's a single player thing, but yeah, it just doesn't say it here. I think that uh, the timer was a little bit over a uh, minute and a half. So I think if I just kind of sit here and watch it every so often, it might pop up just before the incubation timer runs down. Bear in mind though, this whole like craving and incubation timer is based off of your egg hatch speed. So if you're playing on official, these numbers are going to be way higher. You're going to have to wait way longer between feeds and everything. So it might be more manageable on official just to like have time to actually go out and get these items when you need them. But yeah, obviously for me, it's going to happen super quick like this because my breeding settings are always OP. Yeah, and it did not pop up the force birth thing. Here we go. And boom, baby rhino. What love? Oh, whoa. 
A level. What? Are you kidding me? Look at the stats on this thing. Whoa. Hang on a second now. It might pull from the parents. I need... It definitely does. It 100% does, right? It has to. Do you see that? Okay. So just for reference, let me let me pop these things down here. I think it does pull from the parents. Look at this. So my um, although the stamina didn't really get much, I don't know if it does or not. We're gonna have to figure this out. But my my carches have these stats right here. So maxed out. Uh, bro. Oh, it's an alpha. What the hell? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I should use my new baby on you to kill you. But no, we won't do that. We'll just uh. Use good old shoddy. Um, dope. <laughs> yeah, so my my Karch line has maxed out uh, health and melee and stamina uh, just out of their mutations, and this is what they come out as. Uh, new levels are pumped into that. This one right here just came out with, like, really, really high health and really, really high melee, so it might pull from the parents. I'm going to have to test this out with a terrible creature and just see if we get similar results, but that is insane. A level 3... 89 out of a level 90 so maybe the wild level doesn't matter at all i mean like i'd be okay with that this thing's got 40,000 health like that's insane that's ridiculous stop trying to no don't goop on me <laughs> um all right so we gotta raise this thing up we gotta we gotta do this again with another creature there's so many things we need to test here also quite nice colors actually are those the exact same as the parent um no that's not the same yeah, look at that. Okay. Dude, we're figuring it out. Okay, so look at the... Here's the Rhinos colors. So look at uh, regions 2, 4, and 5. Those are identical to my uh, to my cart. So it is pulling traits from the parents. It's definitely pulling the colors. It could probably be pulling those stats too. It's not pulling all the colors. It's kind of like a mix because technically the parents... Okay, yeah, look at that. It even has, like, the mutation uh, thing in the family tree as well. Technically, the parents are this rhino right here and my karch, you know? So, um, that's ridiculous. Okay, so we need to use a good creature, I think. I don't know. We're, we're gonna have to test this out with something that's not going to be uh, super OP. So let me see. Do I have any, like, terrible creatures just in this base from ages ago? I don't know if it would work with flying creatures, but if it does, that'll be cool. I think I'll just go with a Barry. It is definitely pulling the stats from, from my creatures. I don't know why it pulled, like, half from the Karch instead of, like, going for the full amount, but it's definitely pulling something from those stats. Like, those two specific stats would not be that high if there wasn't something going on there. So, Basically, if you're on official and everybody on official has the crazy Giga breeding lines, uh, go ahead and just use one of your Gigas. I'm not supposed to use that myself. Can I use this on you? Wait, what? Oh, it doesn't work on the Barry. Interesting. That didn't work. Huh. Maybe it has to be a creature of a specific size. That might actually have to be a thing. Okay. Oh, no. I'm getting gooped. All right, I think you can break it, right? How do you break it? You break it with, like, a sharp weapon? Tech weapons disabled? No. Uh, I think I can break it with, like, a sharp weapon. If it's on myself, does that count? No. Okay, it doesn't. I'm all goopy. All right, I'm kind of good now, though. Okay, so clearly I've got to use something that's not... Oh, my God. I don't know if I want to sacrifice any of my other creatures on me. It's got to be a big enough creature, obviously, to take the baby. I mean, in the trailer, they show trikes and stuff. Do I want to... <laughs> I'm going to use my Maywig. Oh, man. I, I don't want to lose my Maywig, but, like, we we need it. It's science. I need to figure it out. Can we can we do this? Is this possible? Yay, there we go. Okay, so we're going to do all these cravings then. What do you need? Sweet veggie cake. Got that. Perfect. Superior kibble. Nice. And then shadow steak saute. Sweet. Just bear in mind, it's not always going to be, like, a, a soup or, like, a brew or anything like that or kibble. It, it can be lots of different items. I mean, we had black pearls today. I had acatina paste in the last episode. We had golden egg, absorbent substrate, um, karch egg, quetzal egg as well today. So, yeah, I mean, like, it can, can be, it can be, like, so many random things pretty much. So, yeah, just insane. What I really need to know, though, is if we can actually impregnate... Uh, a rhino using a wild rhino because there could be something there for potentially getting just better and better rhinos gas okay i definitely have some gold has porn sec do not have that so that sucks and i don't have time to go off and get it from somewhere else so yeah unfortunately um because we're not going to get a perfect one i'm not going to keep it so i'm going to go ahead and put you away now i'm curious if because i know that's not a uh 
That's not a cryo ball. Will it stay impregnated? No, it does not. Okay. Had a feeling. Sweet. Okay. So I think what I'm going to need to do is some prep, some feeding for sure. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to, first of all, get a bunch of the pheromones just so I have enough stocked up. Next, I'm going to have to find a high level and then I'm going to need to trap it and then just continuously, continuously do this until I can manage to get one that's perfect. But first of all, we got to go ahead and raise up this one. Okay, so we're back over here now, and I've got a bunch of shadow mains that I'm going to use as the bait. I tried to see if you could feed the thing to Thylas, but you actually can't. So shadow main works, Thyla doesn't. Realistically, at some point over the next few days, somebody's probably going to make a full list of creatures that you can use. It might have something to do with drag weight. What are you doing, bro? Also, this is our new, <laughs> our new guy right here. It is absolutely insane like this thing's ridiculous so let me just show you how much damage it actually does it's honestly just so silly uh let's see do we have anything here at all to hit uh yeah we got some snakes and stuff here i actually killed that dinosuchus a couple minutes ago let's see boom look at that almost a thousand damage and that's without any like any levels being pumped in those stats are pulled straight out of my cart so yeah i don't know man like uh this could be really good and in fact we've actually got one over here uh terrible level let me go ahead and just quickly kill you so, um, the way that it, it seemingly works for the moment is, uh, it pulls stats, uh, based on how many times you feed the cravings. So if you match all those cravings whenever it asks, it will pull more stats and therefore make your guy a better level. Um, and then obviously, you know, it's gonna have some of its stats from its parent as well. So realistically, your best bet is to actually try and get yourself... Uh, a really good wild female like a really good level and then obviously use one of your best creatures as the as the like the feeding creature so um yeah that's essentially how it's gonna work okay so like i said earlier i'm gonna have to go around i'm gonna have to collect up a bunch of these uh eggs but you know what that's fine because i'm gonna have to keep doing this until i find a good level because that's what we're doing we are going for a high level and then uh hopefully we can manage to um to trap it and do all of this stuff and then eventually, if we can manage to hit all those cravings, we might potentially get the most insane, like, rhino out of this at the very end. So I'm just going to keep going. I feel like this video is going to be super long, but I want you guys to be along for all of this and to see a good amount of how this actually works, just so you can apply it to your own game. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Okay, hang on. That's kind of an issue. I don't have that many chances here. I've got, like, I've got, like, seven chances to try and do this then. Hmm, crap. I wonder, could I leave it there and try to go off and get some more killed and then hopefully it's still going to be there? Oh, I hope so. I'm going to have to at least get a couple more here because I've only got like seven of them. Definitely going to probably need at least ten just to have good odds at actually managing to do this. But um, yeah, that's a freaking 180 female. Yes. Oh, man, I'm so happy about that. Okay, we're going to tame that. Well, we're going to get babies from that one. But I will need to kill some more first. So let me go back over here. It's funny because I actually also found a 156 over in this direction. So I'm going to go ahead and kill that one because we no longer need it. Hopefully. Uh, it would be really sad if that one disappeared now. Oh my god, I would cry. All right, this is going to be the last one that I'm going to kill. And then we're going to head over and try and get that 180. I'm hoping it's still there. Let's see, come on. If it's not, honestly, that's going to be the worst. There we go. Got you. Come here to me. Let me just, like, hit it once or twice. Oh, it might be following now, maybe? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, we just got to lead it into the trap, do that whole thing that we did earlier, and, yeah, then we'll um, we'll be good to go here. So, the Shadow Mains have uh, maxed out health, maxed out melee, and then they have 100 points into their stamina and weight. So, realistically, no matter what stats we get buffed up onto this thing, it's going to be really good. Go ahead and do this. Just land. I think I'll just place the gate as well. And then I'll just net you immediately. Boom. Nice. Oh, crap. I just realized Shadow Maze might not be a good one to do this with. Oh, no. We might do recoil to it. Oh, it just did it to me. Nice. Okay, perfect. I think we technically just did a little bit of damage to it. So we cannot get that one super low because it will die. So Shadow Maze may be not the best idea to use for this guy. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately. But there we go. We do have it. Let's, uh, quickly just close that gate. Keep you locked in there. And we've got the baby, uh, wanting cravings in about a minute here. So, yeah, the same kind of process. I'm just hoping that we get lucky. So, I'm just gonna keep doing this, guys, until I get one that works. So, I'll show you the full process of the one that works and tell you how many it took to actually get to that point. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. That was the first one. The first one ended up being one that I could fully fill all the cravings on holy crap dude why do you wait till like 
<laughs> I'm, I'm celebrating to come and attack me. You still good in there, right? Yeah, you're still good. Sweet. So, um, yeah, there we go. I, I, I thought I might end up having to do this like a bunch of times, but I guess not. Um, there we go. I almost kind of want to see what would happen if I put this thing to sleep animation and then had it like birth it out, but I won't do that. Rip Shadow Maiden though. Holy crap. <laughs> this is great. Oh, dude. So we've got a 180 birthing into the Shadow Maiden. I might end up doing this a bunch of times. I'll be honest, because like we might get some good stats out of this baby, but they might still be bad. So I don't know. We'll just see. We got a minute before the Shadow Mane dies and, and we get a little Rhino baby. Goodbye. And boom. Where's the gun? Wait, what? Oh, did it get picked up? I think it might have. There it is. There's the baby. Okay, we didn't get a super great one, unfortunately. So we got to do this again. So even though I did it all perfectly and used a really good creature, we still did not end up with a good one. So I guess it is what it is. I mean... What is that? Uh, it's got 90 points into its melee, which is a decent amount. But like considering the, the parents have a lot more than that, I don't know. That is, uh, it's not very good. It did seem to get a good amount of the colors though, actually. Let me just kind of compare this to my actual shadow main. So here's the shadow main. Uh, so there's the colors in the shadow main. There's the colors in the baby. It looks like it got every single color except for region five is different. Actually region four and five are different. So it got four of the colors um and then yeah the stats didn't really translate over so i'm just i'm seeing 38 points into the melee I, or sorry into the stamina i'm gonna assume that this one has that points right that would kind of make sense right so um all right yeah we gotta we gotta do this again we gotta do this all over again and not get gooped on all right there we go we just got another one perfect uh what did that one take um akatina paste honey two absorbent and then element so lots of different things there all right here we go and goodbye, Shadow Mane. Boom. Where's the baby? There you are. Let's see. Let me pick you up. Uh, okay, same level. No, no, not same level, but very close. Uh, also, not absolutely amazing stats. They're all male as well. Is that supposed to be that way? Maybe they did that on purpose. So it looks like there's got to be some sort of correlation here, right? Because... Okay, let me just, uh, let me bring some evidence to the table for what I'm about to say. Okay, so on this one right here, this was the one that came from the Karch. The Karch had 254 on the health and the melee. This one came out with both of those stats, and, um, and yeah, it, like, they're both really, really good right there. As you can see with this one and this one, they, they both have the 254 on the base stat of the health and the melee, and they're, they're going down to 90, so it might have something to do with the actual like i don't know it might have something to do with the actual size of the creature too potentially because like right here as you can see like from the cart we got an absolutely amazing one but from the shadow mains which have you know the same kind of base stats we're getting much worse ones so i, I don't know man there, there's got to be something there just in general though uh colors wise we pulled what is that like uh three regions i think on the uh the new one there the second one that we got so uh good to know let's see Gonna probably have to do this a bunch more times. Nice, got pregnant again. Boom, all right, there we go. We got another one. We keep getting really good luck with these items, actually. They're all things that I, I've kind of got in my inventory now at this point. Haven't had to pull anything for a while. Although now I have black pearls and acatina paste and, and absorbent as well in my inventory. So yeah, pretty good to go here. Um, yeah, we'll just wait and see if this baby's gonna be any better than the others. It might also have something to do with the parents as well. Like, you know maybe we want to go for a lower level because you know i went for a low level with this one this one was a level 90 female that gave me a level like almost 400 with the karch so i don't know we keep getting like kind of lower levels with the um with the 180 though so it might have something to do with that who knows again we're kind of just like in the testing phase at this point but it's really fun to like figure this stuff out as we go all right rip shadow main goodbye Boom, and another one around the same level, okay. And that one, again, has pulled exactly 90 points from the uh, the melee, so I don't know. There's got to be something there. It's very strange. All right, so I just want to actually use another Karch just to see if we're going to get different results now. All right, so we managed to get perfect on that one as well. Let's see what level is this baby going to be. Oh, here we go. Boom. Look at that. Oh, my God. Holy crap, the level of that thing. Wait, which one is it? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it took the base stats completely from it. Bro, 
How does this work? I'm so confused. We get we get like a terrible a terrible level and then oh my god I'm getting attacked <laughs> getting gooped on no I can't use <laughs> hang on we we gotta I think we gotta use this to get out right is that how we do it no uh oh yeah, okay it's yeah it's all in me how do we how do we stop this I don't have a hatchet unfortunately and I can't use my sword because it's tech um <laughs> great uh oh <laughs> yeah there we go we're good um nice are you actually kidding me though so. I have no idea how this works. I'll be honest with you. Um, more testing needs to happen. Like, I'm so confused. Okay, so first of all, three ones from Shadow Mains. Um, like, we we hit all the cravings, we do all that good stuff, and that's what we get. You know, we, we don't get really great ones. I use a Karch, and I get my Karch's stats in health, stamina, and melee. Like, that's almost identical to what my Karches are. Let me grab my, uh, I only have one more, and it's my leveled one, so we can't use it again. So yeah, here is the Rhino. So we have, um, we've basically pulled all those stats. And then here's my Karch. And it actually also pulled my Karch's weight. And I think that's it, right? Yeah, it pulled my Karch's weight stat as well, which isn't good at all, but that's okay. I mean, it's fine. Um, that's insane. I'm so confused. Is it based on what they ask for? Because that one asked for, like, some higher tier kind of items, you know? So I, I don't know. I have no idea. Whatever it is, like, it, it, I have no idea. <laughs> it's so confusing. So there, I, I guess the way to do it is to use a high-level creature that's also a high tier creature. I'm going to try one more time with the Shadow Mane. I need to know. Is it something to do with the creature size, or has it got something to do with what they're eating or has it got something to do with just randomness it might just completely be random i have absolutely no idea at this point all right so we're pregnant once more let's let's just see if we if we can get a really good one out of this then it, 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 i don't understand but if we don't and we get another kind of mid-tier one like these then it's clearly something to do with the actual creature size and and maybe you know it's it's drag weight as well See, creatures, every creature in Ark has, like, this kind of hidden value that you can't just see. It's called drag weight. Uh, I'm trying to see it. I'm pretty sure it says it on here somewhere. Yeah, so at the bottom of these soul balls, it actually tells you what the drag weight of each creature is. So for a cart, the drag weight is 950, and I'm pretty sure it's the same as a giga. And for reference, I think Paraceratheriums are, like, 600. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of, like, dependent on what size creature you're actually using. Also, for reference, a Rhino has 500 drag weight. Let me see. Let me show you a couple other examples while we just wait on that first craving to come through. So, Thylas have a drag weight of 180, and also we can't put the uh, the egg into that, so it doesn't really matter. Maywings have drag weight of 300. Shadow Mains are 350. Gigas are 950. Horses are 125. Astrodelphus, yeah. So, like, there's lots of different drag weights here, but, um... Oh, crap. It wants a craving. There we go. We got Black Pearls for you. Boom. So it might have something to do with that. Again, like there's so much testing that needs to be done. Um, if anybody knows, obviously, drop your information down below. Let's all kind of share this information and try and figure out this whole thing. Uh, also, I need to drop this thing down and start raising it because I want to show you guys this thing before the end of the video. Okay, did we get a cool looking one? Yeah, he's, he's cool. He's blue. I like him. He's pulled out uh, quite a few colors from my Karch. Not all of them, but um, yeah, that's dope. I'm happy with that. We got to raise you up. We got to we gotta do the cravings on you. We should have uh, this one before the first imprint, though. So, yeah, we're going to be doing this for a little bit. Karch egg. I don't have one. I can't do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put you away and try this again. All right, rip Shadow Mane. And boom. Okay, another, like, level 300-ish. You know... <sighs> I have no idea. Like, does it have something to do with what they're eating? All right. Well, you know what? I think we're probably going to have to call it a day on the testing. I'm going to bring you guys back once this thing is fully grown up. We'll take it out for a little bit of a test spin so you can see what a maxed out health, stamina, and, <laughs> and melee on a, a radio is. Most ridiculous thing I think I've ever just gotten this quick. Like, that is so silly. So these things take a little while to raise up, so I decided to sacrifice my, uh, my maiden karch um, <laughs> just to see what we could get. Oh, uh, okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. So I will tell you what it ate. What did it eat again? I think it was two extraordinary kibble, battle tartar, and then gasoline. In the moment, I forgot the last item, but it was absorbent. But yeah, there you go. I mean, like we just got another one. The thing about this one is this one's not as good as the other one. Also, they are all male. Is that a thing? Is Am I just getting super unlucky or are they just 
supposed to be that way. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, this one here, even though it's slightly lower level, it has the higher weight, which is more preferable for me. But yeah, I, it's got to have something to do with the size of the creature that you're using, clearly. So, I mean, Karches seem to give really good ones, so I, I guess go ahead and use them. Anyway, this thing is almost fully grown up. I'll bring you guys back once it's ready. can't believe I just sacrificed a creature that I've been using, like, frequently. <laughs> It's so silly. Let me at least save the saddle because the thing is painted. Nice. All right, don't worry. I'll make another one at some point. That is so ridiculous. I cannot believe I just did that. All right, so this thing is fully grown up. Let me go ahead and check you out then, bro. Oh my God. It's fully grown up, fully imprinted. I mean, those stats are insane. We've got so much stamina. This is my main one now, I, I guess. Like, it literally just came out. I've already got the best one. So ridiculous. That's how much damage we do currently. Um, I honestly kind of just, you know, just for the, just for the memes, I almost kind of want to kill that one with this. I mean, am I going to do more of this? Probably, uh, but we're not going to get anything better than this. I mean, I could probably go for some with like slightly better weight as well, but I would need to, I would need to mutate the weight on my carches up because clearly a big creature is what you want to use. So I don't know. I think maybe I'll just leave it. And if it despawns, it despawns. If it doesn't, then dope. Um, yeah, let's test this thing out a little bit then. So just in general, like, kind of ridiculous. I'm glad that we figured out part of it anyway. It definitely has... I don't think it has anything to do with the foods that you're feeding it. It's got to have something to do with the size of the creature. And then obviously you need to hit all those cravings. So no matter what it asks for, you need to give it that. But, you know, if if you get to the point where you have a high-level trap like that and it's asking you for things that you don't have and you don't want to try and go and get, uh, then I would probably recommend just picking it up using a crowd pod and then, you know, retrying. So just prepare with lots of pheromones before you even start doing it with the one that you actually want to get. So just so you're basically, like, good to go. I actually have, yeah, I've got, like, two more left here. So, um, yeah, we, we, we kind of lucked out a little bit within, what was it? I think we had, like, 11 so far. So we, we did nine of them. And uh, we looked out with two maxed out ones, which is absolutely ridiculous. I couldn't ask for anything more. I mean, like, that's honestly insane. So, yeah, I mean, the damage on these guys is, is fantastic as well. I don't even know what I want to be pumping. Like, it's got so much health as well. Let's see, how much does this go up by? Uh, that goes, whoa, that goes up by like 4,000. Are you kidding me, bro? No. That's silly. That is so silly. Goes up by like 4,000 health. I mean, obviously, I know it makes sense because it's got the maxed out base points, but still, like, damn, that is amazing. It's got 100,000 health. Like, this thing's never going to die. Oh, man. All right. Well, anyway, guys, um, I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it a day here. It's probably gonna be a super long video. Um, this took a long time to try and get going, and, and I'm glad that we did because we've got a really good one. In fact, actually, how's this one's colors compared to this? Um, I reckon it's somewhat similar, I think. Yeah, looks like it. You know what? Let me just pop it out real quick. So yeah, we might do another video kind of like doing some stuff with them. I don't know what that might involve. Like, if you have any ideas of what we can use these guys for, let me know. I'm thinking Desert Titan should be easy, but... Yeah, uh, that looks relatively similar to my one. Uh, my one's got the little bit of orange on the back, I think, as well. No, it doesn't actually. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, uh, pretty, pretty similar. I mean, like, almost identical. But, uh, yeah, so if you have any ideas, drop them down below. We'll, uh, we'll explore what we can actually do with the Rhino in the next episode. Maybe I'll try and get somebody to come with me and we'll, uh, <laughs> just fight the Desert Titan or something. That could be insane. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. If you have enjoyed the video, if you learned some stuff, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe as well. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.